appalled by the brutal killing of George Floyd and the suffering of other victims of racially motivated violence. Our thoughts are with their families. The last words of George Floyd, I can't breathe, echoed around the world as a rallying cry for equality and human dignity. We express our strong support to all those who are peacefully protesting to end racism. We unequivocally condemn racist violence, racism and all forms of discrimination, including by the police and others in position of authority against people of African descent and other persons belonging to minorities. We need to act urgently to tackle the scourge of structural racism and discrimination. However, let's be clear. Racism is not limited to one country in the world, but it is a global problem. Therefore, the international community cannot remain silent, and we welcome this opportunity for the Human Rights Council to reaffirm our joint commitment for action. Austria would also like to reiterate its support for the work of the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. Madam President, peaceful protests should not be hijacked by those seeking violence. We are concerned about incidents and attacks by the police as well as law demonstrate, by demonstrators against journalists and the media covering these protests. Against this background, we would like to reiterate that a free press constitutes a fundamental pillar of any democracy. It must be safeguarded at all times, and journalists must be free to report without facing violence, arrest, or intimidation. We trust that the de-escalation of tensions will prevail, and we will remain confident that the U.S. authorities will ensure a swift investigation and fair trial in full respect of the rule of law and human rights. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, and I pass the floor to Denmark.